Well, around 100 students and chaperones from Seton High School were planning to meet here tonight and then leave for D.C. But with this storm, they say it's simply not safe, but it won't stop their mission here at home. It's a yearly trip with a powerful message. Lots of students are just sad because it's an incredible experience. Nora Hibbert is a senior at Seton High School and a member of the Saints for Life Club. We understand that well, we're a pro-life club and so we're worried about the lives of every member of our club just as much as we are worried about the lives of the unborn. On Thursday night, 80 students and 10 chaperones were planning to leave for Washington, D.C., arriving in time to join some half a million others for the annual March for Life. Obviously, weather concerns are what's in the safety of our students uh, is what is keeping us from going. With the nation's capital now prepping for up to two feet of snow, Elise Seton and Covington Catholic are making last minute decisions to call off the buses. I have never had to cancel a trip before. I've always managed to be able to go. Uh, but this is kind of an unprecedented blizzard of a blizzard for us. Snow, rain or shine on their website, March for Life organizers say the event will press on. We decided we still wanted to make some kind of impact here in our community. Seton students are instead planning a rosary and demonstration. Their voices were told still taking part in spirit. We're going to stand in front of the school facing Glenway and just stand in unity for the unborn and for those who can't speak for themselves and pray for the safety of those on the march. Now we also reached out to Covington Latin High School. We know they were planning to take part in that march and some of their staff arrived in D.C. yesterday. Tonight it's still unclear if they will continue as planned. For now, reporting live, John Genovese 9 on your side.